Welcome. Hello, everybody, and welcome. And uh, let's see, it's afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome to this very special event. You know, the email said we're going to do a very a comprehensive workshop. Uh, what that means is I'm going to show as many of the most important features. I'm going to play a little bit along the way. I'm going to have some great music, uh, and I'm going to do it on a variety of the instruments here today. And so um, from the guest list that I received and the RSVPs, it sounds like we have people that have a model that I'm sitting at, the Discovery 3, some easy owners, some easy ones, the easy twos. There's a Freedom 3 owner in there somewhere, and there's an easy four and what have you. So what I'm going to do is try to give uh, information for every one of you in less than 90 minutes. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> I feel challenged. And then what we'll do um, at one point, we're going to give you an opportunity to have a breakout session and have a Q&A with one of our educators. We have the world-class educators. When I say world-class, not just at Fletcher Music, we're talking in the world. Uh, if any of you have been online with uh, watching some of our um, uh, Zoom classes or what have you, these are the best in the industry and the best in the world. So they're gonna be there to help. They're gonna, I'm gonna encourage you to take very good notes because uh, I'm going to spit out a lot of information today, and I don't want to make sure that um, you don't miss anything. And then you have the Q&A to do that. But I think to open up, we need to open up with some music first. Wouldn't you agree? I have my gallery. All right. And um, so here we go. I'm going to start off on our beautiful SD Discovery 3, and I'll just put on the very first button I see here. And here we go. A big round of applause for Mr. SD Discovery 3. I guess SD is a male. The Discovery 3 is a male. I just called it Mr. SD Discovery 3. So, folks, <clears throat> I'm going to cover some features today. And um, uh, hopefully this will – if there's one thing I've learned in, in listening to all of our, our world-class instructors, one thing they say a lot to all other students is if you have one thing – that you're able to take home and, and use immediately. If there's one thing, then it's worth it, okay? And I'm gonna give you, um, I think like 12 or 13 or 14 or many, many things. So, but uh, I'm gonna start on our Discovery 3. I know some of you have that instrument. The SC Discovery 3, which was introduced officially last year, um, has um, um, just a, a, a plethora of sounds and features. As an example, it has eight styles of music to choose from, uh, and it also has um, six uh, great sound choices from pianos, to electric pianos, and strings. You're going to hear some of these sounds and the styles as I demonstrate some of the features. The most, to me, the starting, the feature that I think is most important, and it's kind of automatic when you when you first turn on the instrument. But if I had a student that was uh, or, or, or a potential student even, and I was demonstrating any of these instruments, and I said the first thing they should know is that when you power on any of these instruments, now depending on you owning an SD or a Lowry, the wording is slightly different, but the meaning is the same. 
Um, <clears throat> right here, there's a feature that's called auto setup. Now auto setup kind of does exactly what it says. On the easy series, it's called style setup. So if I was to ask you to write down something, that would be the first thing to write down feature wise. <clears throat> if you want to keep track of how many styles on here, I think that's worth having too, because as I go through all the instruments and I'll refer to the other models, um, I'm going to tell you how many styles you have. Sometimes people don't really know because there's variations and things like that that we'll discuss a little bit later. But auto setup, what's great about that feature is it, it's referred to as a, as a feature that takes all of the guesswork out of knowing what buttons to push. Um, or we kind of in tongue in cheek say, it's the help me, I don't know what I'm doing button. And here's what it really means. That when you turn on the instrument and you find a piece of music that you are playing, okay, the first thing we want to do is, you know, like if I want to play a, a song like Release Me or You're Cheating Hard or something like that, most people know, well, I might use a country song with that. It's country style. So I'll push country. <clears throat> However, what tempo is a good tempo for a country? What's a good sound to use? I want to make sure that the band members are well balanced. Think about country music for a second. Now, what musical instruments are in country music? Now, you, you're thinking about it, or you can unmute if you want, if you want to say, I guitars, fiddles, anybody? anybody? Okay, all right. Now, big band. What kind of instruments come to mind when you hear the word big band? I see someone doing this. I think you mean slide trombone? Saxophone. Ahead, saxophone. Danny, I, you want to unmute I, yourself, Danny? What did you say? Oh. Flute. Flute. Trumpet. Trumpet. The dog just said uh, <laughs> muted trumpet. <laughs> I love when the dogs go by. I know how to interpret dog. I have dogs. I speak to them all the time and they speak back to me. But anyway, <clears throat> point is, is that the two different styles in that example had two different band members, okay? And the balancing of those band members, you know, has got to be totally different. Well, the point of all this is automatic setup does all that for you. So you don't have to worry about which balances and all of that. So all I have to do is the first one I did was a big band type style of music. Now, if I go to country, auto setup sets it all up automatically. It's not going to set up the... Uh, the trombone or the clarinet or whatever it had there for me. It's going to set up a guitar. It picked the appropriate tempo for me. Um, it's going to tell the band, the bass player and the drummer should be at this balance. You don't have to worry about that. You just play. So this is another one of my favorite styles of music, this country style here. Uh, I like it because it, it actually helps me stay on beat right from the get go. Listen. One, two. Oh my goodness, you know, I'm kind of new at this. Let me try this again. One, two. There we go. Everybody do a yeehaw. Yeehaw. Well, I couldn't hear you all, but I saw all your mouths moving. So I, I think there was a, it was a, like a really big yeehaw. So <clears throat> there it set up the electric guitar. Now, what I really love about this, the auto setup, is every style that you choose really maximizes the sounds over here. It really goes around and uses the different instruments. Another one of my favorite styles is uh, the March slash polka. And it says March polka because March and polka beat are very similar. And what's really cool is it set up a trombone and a clarinet. Uh, and then as I'm playing, I might switch over to some of my other favorite sounds here. So listen. 
Big round of applause for our SC Discovery 3. Now, there's a feature I'm using here, and I'll mention it here because I'm going to keep moving along, um, that there's a couple of features on here that is also on all of the models. First of all, we have this little song button. I'll refer to that in just a moment. And we also have this feature here, intro ending. And I'll, I'll piggyback and I'll kind of segue over to our uh, easy two here. But this is our SC Discovery 3 has absolutely uh, a lot of great sounds and features, like I said, uh, all of the instruments you have here, and as well as the organ sounds that you heard a little bit on. Now, I'm gonna segue over to, let me see if I can do this. I have one camera, so let me, let's see here. How is that view there? Is that okay? Let's see what happens once I sit down. Is is it washed out or is it still visible? He's telling me anything, so I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, so we have our easy two here. Now, I don't have an easy one. I only have so many instruments I can hook up. But on the easy series, uh, if you want to write this down, because I know some of you have a one, and I know some of you have an easy two, okay? So um, the easy one, and I'm just moving my TV over so I could see you at the same time. So the easy one, for those of you who have the easy one, you have, uh, I mentioned the styles over here. You have what's, uh, you have six style categories on the easy one, okay? The easy two has six style categories. The easy three, has six style categories, okay? Now I mentioned in the easy one, two, and three first because I have the four that I'm gonna get to at some point. So you have six style categories. However, there are you have more there than just the six, okay? And here's how this works. on the For you easy one owners, you have the six buttons here, standard, smooth, rock, country, Latin, and three quarters, an example. On your instrument, you have um, a performer mode, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I don't have it in front of me, so um, one of my educators can correct me if I'm wrong, or just give me a thumbs up. There's a pianist button that's on the easy one, yes? Okay, so they're all giving me thumbs up. So <clears throat> I'm getting graded today, folks. So when you press the pianist button, what happens is those six styles become six others. So instead of just the six buttons that you see there, you get an additional six that's 12, all right? On the easy two, for you easy two owners, let me zoom in a little bit. I don't know if that's visible okay. They have what's called full band pianists and guitars. Now, understand that if you have an easy one, if your pianist button is not lit, you are automatically in the full band mode, okay? On the easy two, they have the six styles, and then they have three performer types. You have a full band pianist and guitarist. So what that means is there's six full band styles, six pianist styles, six guitarist styles, okay? And I'll play a little bit of each one and then introduce a feature that I think would work well with those as well. Easy three, I mentioned easy three. There might be an easy three owner in there somewhere. <clears throat> you have the same six, the same three, but there's an additional full band in each one of those. So that gives 
uh, you either have on the easy one, 12. On the easy two, you have the six times three is 18. And on the easy three, that comes to 24 styles, all right? So I'm gonna start off with the first one here called standards. Uh, actually, you know what? I did some big band music already. So what I'll do is I'll put on smooth, full band, and then I'm gonna put on the intro ending. The intro ending is a really great feature because it helps set the mood of the song. And when you're and it's actually a professional introduction. So you're gonna always sound great when you use the introduction. When you're done playing the song, you push it again, you get a professional ending. So you're always gonna sound great in the beginning and you're always gonna sound great in the end. So in the middle, we're kind of on our own. I don't know why I just did that, but <clears throat> no extra charge for the funny faces today, folks. Um, now, the other thing that I like about intro ending, just as from an educational standpoint, most people that are learning for the first time or newer to the hobby, you know, we're very busy trying to find the right place to put our hands, where our fingers, et cetera, et cetera. To me, the introduction and that time it takes for the, the, the band to set the mood, it also gives us time to get our hands ready and play. And so that way we can play as soon as the introduction is over. So listen. I'll play a little bit of smooth full band known as the easy four beat. So you can tell there's a lot of music happening. There is a full band there. Again, intro ending I'm gonna use frequently. Now, I'll pick another category of music here, but this time I'll go to the country. Now I heard some fabulous country earlier on our Discovery 3. I'm gonna put on the country. I'm gonna use the intro ending again, okay? But this time what I'll do is I'm gonna push the pianist button. Now, I'm gonna let you hear a taste of the country in a full band. So as you can tell, that has got a full band. When you put on pianist, it becomes a totally different style of music altogether. And here's what you get. Intro and ending, you set the mood. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Big round of applause for easy to. <clears throat> All right. Now I'm going to push the guitarist button. I'm going to use the intro ending again, but this time I'll do, I'll go to the rock button. Let's see what happens here. This is kind of fun. I think um, if I'm not mistaken, this is, this is kind of like a fifties rock and roll guitar style. And oh, Chuck Berry in the house. Did you know Chuck Berry's favorite song was When the Saints Go Marching In? It wasn't, I'm making that up. And a big round of applause for our easy two there. Now, for those of you who have the easy uh, one, you have some of those styles, full band and the pianist. 
you have a select amount of sounds that are on the instrument. Um, and then here we have the three buttons, pianos, uh, sorry, pianos, guitar, strings. But there's a button here that says more. Now in here, this more button is designed to give us additional sounds that the instrument has besides putting them all on the, on the dash here. Now, so this is gonna be a good pop quiz for my uh, staff members. So the easy one, how many sounds are on the easy one? They're all thinking. They have that thinker look. In fact, someone's actually doing this. Anybody? 30. How many? 30. On the easy one or two? I think the one is less. No, 16, sorry. Yes, and the easy two has more than that. So what happens is when you, instead of putting 16 buttons on the instrument, this instrument would be very large if they did that. So they add a button called more, and they have the additional sounds in there. And on here, I believe there's 24 more, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. 16. Is it 16 more in here? Yeah. Okay, plus the ones you have in here. So what's neat about this is that when you touch the sound, each one of these has an additional sound. So if I push piano and then I scroll, I get an additional sound, honky tonk piano, electric piano, harpsichord. If I touch guitar, I get acoustic guitar, country guitar, jazz guitar, country rock, etc. That's why I was doing the math wrong. I forgot that these had additional ones. <clears throat> So as an example, I'm gonna just turn it up from power up. The first sound that comes on is your grand piano. So you have something like this. All right. And, and if you want some other sounds, you have uh, the acoustic guitar. And then you can scroll through and there's a country guitar. You have a jazz guitar, rock guitar. On the strings, you have four of those in there. So you have strings. Uh, you have strings two, which is a smoother sound. You have the pizzicato. <laughs> uh, anyway, I got sidetracked there, sorry. And then if you touch the more, you have the additional sounds that Carrie said, there were 16 of them, plus the ones you have there. <clears throat> so you have the accordion. And you can go through, you have an actual choir in here. You know what I love about this choir? They always sing in tune and none of them have bad breath. It's just absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so anyway, moving on. Clarinets, the flugelhorns and et cetera, et cetera. You got different organ sounds, pan flute. So <clears throat> for those of you who have the easy series that has that more button, just remember it's exactly what it says. It's more sounds to choose from that are built into the instrument. And when you select the style, style setup sets it all up for you, okay? And a lot of times it will actually choose a sound from the more. So when I touched standards, full band in this case, it actually selected a sound that's in the more category. And you can always change that sound whenever you want. You don't, you're not stuck to just using that sound. So as I'm playing, I can just switch over at any time. Okay. Now one other feature I wanna mention on here, <clears throat> And then I'm gonna move over to the uh, uh, easy, the Freedom 3 here. And the, this feature is on every model that I'm discussing today. And it's a feature called Songs. Now, the Discovery 3 has songs built into it. The Easy 1 has songs built into it. The Easy 3, the Easy 4, they all have songs built into it. So if you're taking notes and you wanna know, the Discovery 3 has, and they'll shake their head no or yes if I'm wrong, 10 recorded songs built into the instrument, yes? Okay, I got one head nod, two head nods. All right, we're in agreement. The easy one also has 
10 songs built into it. Yes? Yes. Good answer. The Easy 2 has, anybody know how many songs the Easy 2 has? 20. Well, I guess we can get technical and say there's technically there's 20 one right there's because there's a demo song <laughs> that plays a bunch of little ones but yes there's actually 20 um <clears throat> songs that are recorded the first one demo songs uh actually plays like a little medley of songs um and the easy three i can't remember how many that has but i think it might be 30 but don't quote me on that um now what's significant about the songs the first 10 songs happen to be the same songs that we teach in Conductor Magic, which is great because what you can do, as an example, let me get my Conductor Magic book. Let's say I'm learning to play a song out of the Conductor Magic book, and I'm having a little trouble with it. You can always push the song button and listen to it. Sometimes listening to the song first is very helpful because the more you hear the song, the more your fingers want to play the notes the way you see the song and hear it. You can also play along with it too. So as a recap, the easy two has um, 18. You have the six times the three that has 18 styles. The easy one has six times the two, so that's 12. And the easy three has 24 of those. You have, it sounded like there were 24 total sounds in here to choose from, plus the organ sounds that are built in. So there's about a, a nice little selection of organ sounds. I believe there's four different categories there. 20 songs built into the Easy 2, 10 in the Easy 1, 10 in the Discovery 3. And then there's one other feature here that I'll talk about, but I'm going to move on over to, to explain it. It's called Harmony. Write that down. And we're going to talk about Harmony in just a moment. Okay. And so as you're writing, that'll give me time to set up and see if I can get this set up in a way that you can see it. Okay. Now, before I go any further, any questions about anything that I've mentioned so far today, folks? You can raise your hand. You can use the raise hand feature. All right, and if you're thinking of something, write it down because when we have the breakout, you'll be able to ask one of the PAs that question, all right? Now, um, there are some folks that have the Freedom 3. Now, the Freedom 3 uh, by Esty, <clears throat> as you can see, has a similar design and look to all the other models. Um, the Freedom 3 has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine buttons, all right? So there's nine style categories. So Technically, people would think, well, that's that must be nine rhythm styles. Yes. No, there isn't. There's more than that because each one has two styles. So standards, it tells me I have swing time and gypsy, uh, gypsy jazz, roadhouse and acoustic guitar. So so that's now nine times two equals 36. Right? James, what? You're being a sourpuss. He's doing this. I don't know if you saw James, but he's being mean. Oh, come on, folks. Help me out here. I thought, let me get my calculator out. Nine times two. 
You know, it's it's 36. So James, you're asking how is that, right? You're asking why? How does that work? Okay. <clears throat> it's real simple. If you noticed earlier when I was on the easy 2, to put more sounds on the instrument rather than adding 16 other buttons because that would have to expand the size of the instrument to work, right? Instead of doing that, technology has allowed us to do more in an instrument without having to add more buttons by just one button. So what happens is I have one, two, three, nine buttons. Each one does two. And then there's another button here called styles two. Okay. Now, instead of looking at me, let me put it on the instrument here. And I'll see if you can get a little bit better view. Okay. I don't know if you can see that, but right here, this button, there's a black button there. It says styles two. So what happens is when I press it, I get an additional two for every one of the nine. So you get the nine times two is 18, and then you press that, you get an additional 18, and that's how we got 36. Now, I love the additional styles uh, on there because, well, just because they're fun, <laughs> they're nice. So as an example, <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to touch standards, styles two, and then well the first one says big band, but this is not this is not like any other big band. Okay, listen. So a couple things that I used there, which was really nice. First of all, I used a feature that you all have called fill. Okay. Now fill does, it's basically as plain as simple. What it does is it takes whatever style of music you're using and it does something in layman's terms, fancy. The band does this musical thing. It's exactly what it does. They do a fill and it's different than what the band is normally doing. Okay. Now, there's multiple ways to use fill. Sometimes fill-ins are fill-ins. Nothing more than fill-ins. Don is shaking her head. You thought I was going to get through this without doing that. Now, it's, what's interesting is Don and Joni were shaking their head, but they were shaking it in two different directions. So it was like a double head nod ne negative. Oh, my goodness. I better not do that one again. But let's just say I'm playing a song, whatever song it is. And for new students, maybe this doesn't happen to anybody here. Uh, I was told that um, uh, uh, from Eric, uh, we have Osprey and Port Charlotte students on today, right? I was told that these students are ahead of, ahead of the time here. They're pretty good. They're almost like professional hobbyists. Is that right? Shake of head students. Linda's shaking her head no. I was told, Linda, you're actually a professional hobbyist. The definition of a professional hobbyist is someone who just plays music for fun and it has a great time doing it. So there you go. But anyway, so new students, when they're learning, we're always focused on our hand placement, right? Got to get the left hand, got to get our putt position, whatever they call it, the red, blue, and green, pinky, pointer, thumb. Got to find the songs, got to make sure that our hand's in the right place. When we're playing the songs, we don't want to lose our spot, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So one of the cool things is the fill-in. If Whenever you lose your place in music, um, I, we, we sometimes encourage, if you lose your spot, that's okay. Use the fill-in button. 
And then while that fill-in is going, just look up and find your place. The fill-in, when you let go, depending on where you let go, sometimes still does a fill-in. So it gives you time to kind of get your hands back in place. I say kind of because if it's a faster rhythm, it may not work out exactly. But it's a little helpful. So you can reach up and hit fill-in and then get your hand back in place. All right. Now, um, if I'm not mistaken, um, I was told that there's some Freedom 3 and Easy 4 owners on here today. If 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 you want to use this option, you have another way of doing this, and that is on the expression pedal, or the volume pedal, which is, let's see if I can temporarily zoom down here. Can you see that foot switch down there? Right here. Some of you have this little volume thing. Is that what they call it in the orange manual? A volume thing. It's known as the expression pedal or just simply the volume pedal. And so as you're playing, okay, you can turn up or down the, the sound. On that, on that volume pedal, you have a switch to the right and a switch to the left. Okay, and I'll explain what they both do. The left switch does what's called a glide. Uh, or a sustain. And all that simply means is that when you have an instrument like a trombone, if you notice, you hear how the note bends there? Okay. Um, if you have a piano sound on, if you normally hit a piano just like this, what happens is it's a very what we call staccato effect. But if you have a sustain, uh, the switch to the left, it works as a sustain. Okay, so it makes it a little smoother. Now, the instrument is smart. It knows if the instrument should glide or if it should bend. Okay, a piano sound is not supposed to bend. So when it was programmed, the person that programmed it designed it so it knows what to do. The right switch is kind of fun, though. It's just as fun because just by touching the switch, you can get the style. So when I had this style on, when I move my foot to the right, here we go. So what happens is as I'm playing, and I'll point it out, I'll say fill or something like when I do that, when I am doing that, that is happening with the fill switch. So as an example, I'll do one more, one of my favorite styles uh, uh, demonstrating this feature. Okay, so here is a style called the bluegrass train. Now many of you have heard this style, maybe in concert or what have you, it's a lot of fun. Sometimes we don't tell you how we're getting that train sound. Well, there's a couple ways, first of all, it happens in the introduction, it happens in the ending, but it also happens in the mil middle when I'm doing the fill-in. Now, rather than taking my hand off the keyboard and hitting the fill and taking my hand and putting back, what I can do is this. And I'll point it out when I'm doing it, but it's really happening with the foot switch. Here we go. All aboard. like an actual train sound. Now, I'm going to show off some more sounds and features and we're going to talk about <clears throat> sounds here. 
Now, I'm going to need some help from my staff on this because I know there's a lot. I just don't know how much. So for you Freedom 3 owners, we've established that there's 36 styles. Okay. Uh, between the, the, the categories, what have you. But we also have these melody sounds. Now, the melody sounds are really great. You've heard for some fiddles. You heard some saxophones and clarinets. But we have on here is the same concept as earlier. So you have for each one of these, when I press the piano and I scroll through, there are two in each. However, when you go to the more, that list expands very largely. And I don't remember the number. Uh, somebody can tell me when they think of it. But I'm going to just tell you it's a lot. <laughs> so I'll point some of these sounds out as I'm doing it. Plus, there's additional organ sounds, what have you. But right over to the right here, I didn't forget. I said I was going to mention harmony. Now, harmony is kind of fun. Now, here's why. Um, everybody has a different opinion on this, but the one thing that's consistent is, is it's a lot of years. Playing harmony basically means when you're playing a song, instead of playing one note, you're playing two notes at a time or three notes, an additional note. Now, for some, it takes three to five years to be able to do that. Some, it takes 10 years. And some, it takes, it never happens because it's a hard thing to do. And as an example, what I'm going to do is put on a style here called Wonderful 6-8, okay? And this is one of my favorite styles besides the, the train style and the big band style that you heard. Well, I guess they're all my favorites. <laughs> and the harmony buttons are off. Now, there's two buttons. It says duet and trio. And here's all this simply means, that when I use a duet and I play one note, it's going to add an additional note. So it's going to play two notes for every melody note that I play. Meanwhile, you just play whatever song you're playing, you just play it as you play it, and it'll automatically add two additional notes. Well, that makes it easy, doesn't it? Well, if that, if that wasn't enough, the one that's a lot harder and trickier for some is the trio. So when I play the trio, it's taking a one note like this, and it's gonna play three notes like this, Meanwhile, I'm only going to be playing one note. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the song, What a Wonderful World. And then at some point, I'm going to reach up and hit duet <coughs> or trio or maybe both. I don't know, whatever I'm in the mood for at the time. I'll tell you which one I do. And then listen for how full the sound is while I'm still playing one note. Here we go.
so I don't know if you caught that when I did that, the sound just expanded and got much fuller. I might use that a lot um, and moving forward. Now, we have a feature here. Let me move the camera here so I can talk directly to you for a moment. Um, we have a feature that um, some of you are familiar with, you may have heard about. Uh, for those of you who have the Easy 4 <clears throat> and Freedom 3, there's a feature here that to me, well, I still call it the $70,000 feature. Whew. Now, why do I call it the $70,000 feature, you ask? Now, you're supposed to ask, why do you call it the $70,000 feature? He's nodding his head. Okay, you all want to know? All right. This feature was introduced originally in 2001 on an instrument called the Lowry Royale. And it was the first time it ever came out. That instrument retailed for $70,000. And it was a big deal because before that, no other organ had this. The only way to do this was you had to go into the store, speak to a, a one of the sales staff or the educators and class leaders and say, can you, here's a song I really like. Can you make a great, great setup for it? And then they'd write it all down for you and they'd say, do this, this, and that. And then you go home and then you try to set it up. And then it seems like nine times out of 10, it didn't come out exactly or came close. And then some of the big organs back then, they had the floppy disks where they can save it but it involved a lot of time and effort and work. So Lowry designed this feature and for the longest time, it only existed on the most expensive organs in the world. So for you Freedom 3 Easy 4 owners, pay very close attention. <clears throat> this feature allows you, if you're playing the song that's in this list, to play the song that it's really designed for with the perfect tempo, the perfect sound, the perfect everything, and all you have to do is just play the song. And it can be used for multiple songs. So in this, what I'm gonna say right now, there's a feature called Song Setup. And when I press, now this is different than the song feature. The song feature does that, it just plays songs. And in here, we have 30 songs built into it. Song setup, however, is a list of a hundred titles that are in the instrument, alphabetical order. And all you have to do is touch song setup and scroll. And it happens to be a song that you want to play. You just select it. Now, so for example, I played something slow. Let me find something that looks like it might be fast <clears throat> or faster. When the saints go marching in, that sounds like something might be upbeat. And then all I have to do is hit select and automatically it sets up the entire instrument instantly for me to play that song. Oh, it happens to be our song in our conductor magic book. I'm brand new. This is my fifth week of learning. All I have to do is play now. Let me choose another one now. It's our song setup. And all I do is scroll through. Oh, here's one. There's no biz like show business. I have a feeling that's going to be kind of something show tuney and Broadway. And I just hit select. Everything's ready to go automatically. And I just play. Actually, it happens to be a song in our Larry Black songbook. If you don't have this, let us know. I can get you a digital copy. It's the last song in the book. Here we go. Ooh, they put on the trio harmony already. Fill it.
big round of applause. Yay! And now there is something cool that I do have to touch on that, you know, all the models have songs that they play songs. And this one has a feature uh, in this series for the for you Freedom 3 owners, pay very close attention because you're going to want to use this. The songs feature works the same as the others. So you play the song. However, however, if it happens to be a song that you want to play with, this is where it becomes a really strong educational tool. Okay? So as an example, here's Love Me Tender. Okay? Now many of you have that song is also in Conductor Magic as an example. Whoops. My camera is bouncing around. Sorry. <clears throat> Pretty song. Newer student, maybe they're having a little trouble learning the song or they need some help. Now, this works a little bit differently than I explained earlier. But in a way that's extremely helpful. Okay. So here is Love Me Tender. All right. Now, earlier I said if you use the song and you play it. You'll play the song and you hear how it goes, etc. off you can turn the melody off and then continue playing and the rest of the band will do all the other work for you So that's pretty cool because you can do that with any of the songs. Oh, it wants to play the next one. <laughs> anyway, we'll fade that out. Okay. So if you leave it there, it'll just continue playing. But what's really cool about that is it'll take any of the songs that you're learning and you can rehearse with it and practice the melody sound while the rest of the band takes care of the chords uh, everything else, the setups, it even puts the right sound for you. You can change the sound if you want, but if you let it do its own thing, it makes, it'll do it all for you. That makes it easy, doesn't it? Now, I'm going to play a couple more fun styles here for you, and I'll uh, finish up with a, a couple numbers on the Easy 4 over here. But my favorite button in this instrument is the Styles 2, because it coincidentally has some of my most uh, favoritist, is favoritist the word? It is now. It has some of my most favorite styles in here. So when I come over to the Latin category on styles too, we have one called Groovy Latin and Rumba Ricky. And so listen, this one here is uh, called Groovy Latin. Ooh, it is groovy. It has a duet harmony on. Whoops. Fill in.
sounds however you want. Fill in. Change sounds. Hope you're enjoying the music there. You having a good time? You're learning stuff? <clears throat> okay, very good. I'll play one more and then I'll play a few numbers for you here and then we'll have the breakout. Earlier I did a little bit of rock and roll on our easy two. Um, this has a rock and roll too, but I what I love about this rock and roll, it actually reminds me of the actual arrangement of uh, uh, rock around the clock. <clears throat> by Bill Haley and his comments. Do you know who that is or that was? That it's a little bit before your time, I know. Danny's not had he's going like your parents must have told you about the yes, that's right. So, but it's really cool. Listen very closely to this because the the sound is is it's so it sounds so much like it. You can actually hear the way the the bass player is doing the walking bass, drummer, the guitar, and then partway through, I'm going to hold the fill in on this. And what's really cool, if you ever listen to that song, there's a part of the song where the saxophone, they kind of do a little, a, a simple sax. It's not really like a, even a solo, um, but it does a, this little fill solo. This actually does that it's same thing from the song from Rock Around the Crock. Listen, I'll point it out when it happens. I'll do that. I'll go like this or something like that. One, two, three. Freedom 3, big round of applause. You doing okay? Show of hands, shake heads, yes? All right. <clears throat> okay, now let me move on over. Hope I don't give you motion sickness here. Give me a moment. Give me a moment as I move my stuff over. Thank you also for being patient. <clears throat> okay. Come on over to our easy four here. Turn it on. Oh, look at that. Style setup came on automatically. So I was right. Okay. And um, what's cool about the easy four, um, for you easy four owners, a lot of the features that I mentioned on the, let me change my camera angle here. A lot of the features that I mentioned on the Freedom 3 are also here. So if you have an easy four, and I was talking about the harmony, for example, or the song setup, those features work the same way. However, there are a couple other things I want to bring out. I'm going to play a couple other of my favorite styles on here as well. The harmony button on here, 
uh, actually still has the uh, duet and the trio only. They don't call it trio. So for you uh, easy four owners, there's a harmony called AOC. <clears throat> and then there is the duet. AOC is basically, uh, it stands for uh, automatic organ chord. Uh, some people refer to it as idio chord. They used to say that for years. But it basically means one note with, it'll play three, the trio. Duet still exists. And then there is a rock harmony, uh, which plays what they call like a, um, it's like a guitar player play. They play the one and the five. And then there's an octave. Now the octave harmony is really neat because it basically plays uh, music terminology wise. Uh, again, I don't know who's newer at the hobby or, or, or not, but basically if I wanted to play a style, let's say like uh, just a nice, a good classic <clears throat> Latin style here. Turn off that. Um, and so let's say I want to play a, a, you know, one of our Latin piano styles on here. So as I have a piano on, so normally if I was playing a song like Spanish Eyes, like a student would, let me take out our music from, it's in the Black Songbook. Now I use the fill in there. I'm using the fill in to buy me time to find the song. Okay, so Spanish Eyes. well and good but if you ever see any of us our staff members play they're all great um, a lot of them don't just play one note they'll take what's called an octave and they'll play the note instead of like this they might do this but for a new student and even for me that's hard to do I can play a few notes like that but as I'm playing it gets a little harder for me to keep my fingers steady. So I put on the octave harmony and it does it for me automatically. Yes. <laughs> Without it? Okay, but I love. All right, so no, another one of my favorite features uh, on here. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll have some fun with this. I'm going to do a, I guess, a reprise because. Uh, I did a number over here earlier called She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. And that's kind of fun. However, um, if you ever seen some of the artists, especially if some of you students are um, over the Port Charlotte, you get to see Carrie play once in a while. Have you ever noticed that sometimes as, as simple as he keeps it for the students when he plays, sometimes he does get a little fancy in the fingers, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> Sherry, are you a Port Charlotte student? Yeah, because I saw she she gave me a facial expression. She was kind of, uh huh. Yes, he gets a little fancy sometimes, right? Well, he should. He's been playing for as long as he have, and he needs to show off once in a while for the students. But wouldn't it be nice if you can do some of those fancy things without having to do those fancy things? Does that make sense? So there's a feature that. Um, was introduced on the four. And I know there's two of you on here that have the four. So pay attention because you're going to be able to do this. This is pretty cool. And I, what I'm going to do is use a song setup. She'll be coming around the mountain. Okay. Hit select. Everything's ready to go automatically. <clears throat> I have the tempo. Maybe I'll increase it just a little bit. See if I can play it as fast as Carrie does. Or, or close. All right. And I'm going to play the song. 
And then what I'm going to do is do a fiddle solo with my hands manually. And then I'm going to show you how you can do it without having to be fancy. And then I'm going to need your help here, so don't go anywhere, because someone's going to tell me what notes to play. All right, so Sherry, since you were making expressions, I'm going to have you help me out. You're just going to tell me, I'm going to give you some direction. I'm going to say, tell me when to stop. It's kind of like the roulette thing. All right, so let me start it off. Fill in. Okay, now I'm gonna do a fill. I'm gonna do a solo manually. Okay, well that's too much work. I think my hand got tired. Oh, Whew. All right, so here's how this is gonna work. Sherry, are you still with me? Sherry? Okay, you see my hand? I'm gonna prove, this is foolproof. I'm looking at Sherry in my gallery view, and I want you to tell me when to stop. And here's, oh, since it's hard to communicate, just go like this when you want me to stop and I'm gonna I'm waiting for you come on Sherry okay right there that's good right there is that good this way oh my goodness now Sherry this better work because if it doesn't it's it's all Sherry's fault okay now if I was to play these two black notes right now it's not going to sound good all right so just be prepared i'm going to demonstrate oh that's terrible sandy i just saw a scowl yes it was meant to sound bad okay okay now what i'm going to do is press a button and play those same two notes that sherry told me to play and i'm going to prove it to you that it's foolproof are you ready? Thumbs up, everybody. I got three thumbs up. Everybody thumbs up. Here we go. Fill in. Yes, give me a round of applause. Whew. Now, how did I do that, you ask? The button I press is called fake it. Yes. So what happens is no matter what note you press, it's going to play the correct notes for you. Now, I played it here. I'll try it down here to prove it to you. Here we go. One more time. Easy four, everybody, easy four. And by the way, this has one, two, three, four, times two is eight, times three, if I did that right, I don't know. Plus there's a bunch of hidden ones inside that the staff members can tell you about because technically they're actually more than what I told you. So we have um, the 24 styles. 13. Plus 13 hidden ones, that comes up to do the math a lot. We have four different harmonies, 100 song setups. You got um, 30 songs built into it. And the same concept on the sounds work the same. Um, you touch one and then each one gives you, in this case, up to three, four, almost six different sounds. And then the more gives you way more. I think the number is like 70 something, if I'm not mistaken. 
don't remember the exact number, but 38, 38 more sounds plus the ones that are here. So there's a lot of sounds and there's a lot, a lot of goodies. Now, whew, I'm having a good time. I hope you are. <laughs> Do you have a good time today, folks? <clears throat> yes. Give me a round of applause. Give our easy four, freedom three, all of our models a round of applause. Now, don't go anywhere because this is where we need you. We're, we're actually been working on this uh, with a couple groups of students and you can help us today. What Sean did, uh, Sean Maloney, where is Sean? Spotlight Sean for a moment. There we go. See this guy, this character, he's sneaky. He's a sneaky guy. He's, he's the guy that knows how to do Zoom. What 